One of the biggest humanitarian disasters currently facing the planet is unfolding in the Caucasus region where 120,000 indigenous Christians, Armenians, are starving in Artsakh, a breakaway state of Azerbaijan. The area is landlocked and is currently subject to an economic blockade by Azerbaijan, leading to horrific suffering and deprivation. Almost the entire population of Artsakh are members of the Armenian Apostolic Church, the world's oldest community of Christian believers. Here to tell me more, I'm joined by Father Benedict Keeley, founder of Nazarene.org, a charity which helps persecuted Christians. Father, thank you so much for coming on to talk about this very serious issue. I haven't heard much about it, and I believe many of my followers haven't either. So if you could start off by giving us a brief synopsis of what's going on, that'd be great. Well, thank you so much for having me, Calvin, and to GB News, because as you say, it's not being covered by the mainstream media virtually at all. We could just discuss reasons why not. Basically, it's very simple. The little enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh, or Artsakh as it's called, which is a part now of Azerbaijan, uh, but really is a part of ancient Armenia. Armenia, that ancient Christian country, the first Christian country on earth, 301 became a Christian country 36 years before Constantine was baptized. These Christians are in this area of Azerbaijan, uh, 120,000 men, women, and children, at least 30,000 children. They're being blockaded by Azerbaijan, literally starved to death, literally no food, no medicine, no supplies at all. And the world seems to be diverted by Ukraine, all sorts of other uh, reasons, but this is happening as we speak. Nothing is getting into this country. Uh, these people are suffering and the world seems to have either turned its uh, head away or for some particular reason doesn't actually want to deal with this situation. I, I do love that nugget of, of information there that it was the first Christian community and of course founded by the apostles. Uh, it was what Bartholomew and Thaddeus um, well, it's very useful for uh, when you're doing Trivial Pursuit, Calvin. What's the first Christian country on earth? And people will say all sorts of things. And you say, no, it was Armenia, 301. King Tiridates III, Tiridates the Great, proclaimed that country, uh, Christian country. And interestingly enough, in Azerbaijan, in Nagorno-Karabakh, the Azerbaijanis are destroying Christian cemeteries, Christian uh, structures, fourth, fifth century monasteries. It's one of the things you do when you're ethnically cleansing a country. You deny that the original inhabitants were there. So they're destroying, for example, graveyards. They're destroying the crosses to make out that, oh no, Christians were never here. Well, Christians were there. They've been there for 1,700 years. Yeah. Well, there was a similar situation with the Armenian genocide, wasn't there, that people denied that it actually happened? It's, it's, it's amazing how much persecution this region has been through. Um, Father, what can people do to help if they're watching today? Well, we so often, Calvin, feel there's nothing we can do. We hear horror after horror after horror. I, I just wrote an article in the European Conservative magazine. It's very easy, actually. We don't have to lose any blood. We don't have to send any troops. Trade, simple as that. Azerbaijan trades with the European Union, guess what? It's because we're getting a lot of oil, we're getting a lot of petrol, a lot of gas from Azerbaijan. So surprisingly enough, our politicians are keeping rather quiet about it. We need to rise up and speak to our politicians, our elected representatives, and say, this is happening, what are you doing about it? I've heard the phrase concern. There's been a lot of concern from European politicians. Well, concern didn't save 1.5 million Armenians between 1915 and 1917. At this moment, 120,000 Christians are in danger of death, not just uh, being driven out of their homeland, genocide. So we need to start using trade, trade and aid. It's as simple as that. If we pull the money plug, then something will happen. Very sound advice. Thank you very much. That's Father Benedict Keeley from Nazarene.org. Thank you for your time today, Father.